we have done lot of things and now what we are doing in this episode we are going to refactor these things because all the codes we have just implemented the logic we have not worried about how this is going to do and what will be the clean and dry approach so if we go to login controller you can see here we are doing these things that means creating a otp via random things and then caching it and obviously on the verify test verify otp test we are doing the same thing so why not extract this to something uh, some logic or actually what we are going to do we are going to move all these things to other place and the best place for this because this is actually related to a user so let's open the user model and here i will create a function first and this time i will say this function as what we are actually doing here we are uh, creating a random number or creating an otp then we are putting that otp to cache so what we can name this let's call it cache o the otp cache the otp and like this so this is good so let's move these two part from here to here so this is good we have cached these things and now we know that if we have cached then we can get the otp via this otp function so here instead of this otp why not we can say the user otp but it will be good if we extract this also into the user uh, model so here i can say a function which is going to say send otp so sending the otp and now paste this and this time this otp will be like dollar this arrow otp so it is good so let's import all these things so otp mail import this facade and we have some error it says yeah this is because of this and still it is giving error so this one yeah now it is good so what we can do here whenever we can say if result is true that means user is successfully logged in then we can simply say because user is logged in we can access this auth user and we can say send otp super easy huh, yes it is good so now let's run the test to verify all these things so we have the test so if we can change something we can verify it so yes the sending of email is working absolutely fine so if we run all of the tests uh, we have one problem so it says otp is stored in cache for the user where is that otp is actually that has to be stored stored ah, the problem here is when we are logging in we are yes we are sending the otp but when we have created the otp we have not created the otp yet so what we can say this cache the otp and then we can pass it so now if we run the tests where is the test email test run all of the tests yeah everything is passed so this is good but again i don't like this because you can see we are doing this then we are passing this via this uh, function so why not do one thing when we have created this why not return that otp from here also so return that particular otp so now we can do simple thing that we can just uh, use that cache the otp which is going to return the otp so now if we run the previous test it is passing so we have done the cleanup part here so why not go to verify otp test and here we are creating this so let's do one thing so create the user and then we can say instead of all these two things we can say user cache the to otp so cache cache the otp this is good okay and instead of simple user why not use auth user okay so this is nice and we know cache otp will return the otp so 
OTP is this so we can access this OTP here and now let's run this test yes it is passing that's good so we have done the, these things also so cleanup is good but here you can see we are using exception without exception handling and 90% cases you need without exception handling so why not move this from here to our test case this is the test case class which we are extending to every class of the test so why not create a test setup which, which is like setup and using this so we have decided that we are going to use without exception handling all the time and if we need we can say with exception handling like like this and with exception handling we can do that so this is good so in the email test whether we are using that exception yeah here also we are using so just remove that and in the login test do we use no we are not using then what we are using we are creating the user and then acting as it's a logged in user so why not move this also from here to our test case and inside this i will create a function ah <laughs> this function is called log uh, log in user so log in the user so we do this we create the user then we log in the user and if you need you can just uh, return the user but it is okay for me so inside this login user we have stored yeah from here so we can say this and arrow log in user this one okay this is good so copy from here copy and yeah we are doing this but this time we are using is verified one so what we can do inside this we can pass is verified to one so use this paste it here and obviously in our test case we need some arguments so args and like this and we can just put that args here and if it is nothing then it is null so now it is good so run this tests and it fails error 2 it says test user we have not imported user here so app user and run the previous tests and one error once more it says create must be a type of array so here we are actually giving this null so instead of null we can simply give an empty array so run the previous test and it is passed so this is good login test is cleaned email test uh, we are using this user but it's not a login user because we are logging in the user so we don't want that here yeah here we need so we can say this arrow log in user that's good run the test passed and we only have one <laughs> that's good and next is inside email we can see we are logging in the user via this post request so we are doing this here and here also and here also but it is somewhat different because here the password is secret so i think this is good for now so we have done the uh, the refactoring but one very important thing here is that we are using the caching with a key of OTP, but it is general for every user. How we can differentiate the OTP for a particular user? So we need to make this somewhat dynamic and related to the particular user. So OTP underscore, or we can say OTP underscore for, and then we can use auth ID. So we can say auth arrow user and because we are on user model so we can say this arrow id and that will be like this okay so again because we have changed the, the otp key if we go to email we need to check the tests okay the test one test is failing because it says that null is not null OTP is stored in cache for user OTP is stored in cache for the user and that is because the key is OTP and the key is actually this one so why not create another function which is for OTP key 
and now I will return this thing so here instead of this I can say this arrow OTP key and yeah good and here also uh, it will be like this arrow OTP key cool so let's run all the tests here so we can say vendor then slash bin slash uh, php unit and we have one error which is on verify otp test verify otp test and again yeah you can see the problem here so that's that is the problem is solved by this function otp key and in that case we don't have to refer the hard refer the hard coded one so run this test this one yeah it is passed and i think we have any shortcut for better php run all uh, run suite okay so control and shift a okay so control shift a uh, we have one more error which is on the email test email test is because of this it is saying that uh, the problem here is uh, given data is invalid okay so the problem here is we need to use the exception handling so we have used without exception handling so let's let's say with exception handling and run the test yeah it passes so all the tests it is clean everything is good so now we can move on to the next part and i'm sure you have liked this episode so if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel for great level tutorials and share these video with your friends and you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye